Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to Mateo's Corner. Uh, we are back with more Bloody Roar 2. And today, I think we are going to play as Miss Alice. Love for the Wounded is her chapter name. So let's see what she's got in store for us. Right, so, okay. I have to go over this because uh, if people are just watching Bloody Roar 2 story mode from here and they haven't seen any other video, I got to explain so for the rest of you, you can skip this part. But basically uh, what they're saying is that uh, zoanthropes are people who have possessed the ability to turn into like beast people hybrids. And um, they found that almost every person has dormant beast DNA inside their genes for some reason. So this corporation, so in the first game, just called Blair War 1, Pylon was this corporation that uh, was like experimenting on zoanthropes and trying to like reap the benefits of like genetically modifying them or finding them and using them to their advantage and brainwash and stuff like that. And uh, anybody who opposed Tylon was basically killed off by their assassins, or they hired someone. And uh, But in the first game, there was a group of renegades who went in there for whatever reasons, and they, you know, straight up destroyed Tylon and revealed to everyone that the, that the zoanthropes, you know, that they exist. And from that, uh, there was a group called the ZLF, who was um, an organization that was formed called the Zoanthrope Liberation Front, or ZLF, and uh, they were trying to fight for zoanthrope rights, and uh, they were trying to, you know, make sure that zoanthropes weren't oppressed, and it's kind of like the X-Men, right, where the groups of mutants rise up, and they're like, you know, hey, you know, like, you know, hey, we don't want to do anything. We just want to live in peace with humans. You know, let's figure out how to work together. And then you find out that the ZLF are a bunch of terrorists. Right? So now you have this terrorist front who's also, like, pretending to be good running around. And um, whether it's humans or zoanthropes, they'll punish or abduct people who don't want to work with them or their goals. So now there's these group of people led by Gado, who is uh, the lion in this game, and he is trying very hard to squash the ZLF and also, you know, Gado is kind of like Xavier. If again mixing it up with X Men, he's kind of like Xavier, right? Where he's trying very hard to make sure that people can defend themselves, but he also wants world peace among zoanthropes and humans. So that's basically where we're at right now. And everybody's story is connected somehow, so. Aw, oh, look at Alice. No. Years ago, Alice was a victim of the Tylon Corporation's secret plans to use zoanthropes as weapons. She fought back fiercely and managed to save a young girl who shared the same fate. Her name was Yuriko. Alice, being alone, was taken in by Yuriko's mother, Mitsuko, and together they all enjoyed a peaceful life. Yeah, so in the first game, Mitsuko was one of the characters. She could turn into a boar. She was this big woman who was, like, muscular and super, like, you know, she, 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 she was awesome. And she turned into a boar. And um, Yuriko, if you guys have known the other episodes, uh, she's what's considered a half-beast. So basically they took... Uh, Yuriko, they kidnapped Yuriko, and that's what made Mitsuko come looking for her and just help destroy Tylon. And Yuriko is a half beast, so basically she was test, she was she was tested on and all these things, and she could only turn halfway for some reason. And Alice didn't have a home, and I think she's like her cousin or something like that. I so I I read a source saying that they're like cousins, but maybe they're just people that. Maybe she's just a person they adopted after the fact. I don't really know for sure. But now they're they're all living together, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. Several years later, Alice left Yuriko's home to pursue a career that would benefit others, that of a nurse. 
I don't believe it. It's you, Hugo. How have you been? What, what happened to you? You're hurt. One day, a fiery young man was brought into Alice's hospital. On a stretcher. Yeah, well, not surprising. He, too, had fought against Tylon's evil plans. That young wolf, Hugo, was searching for his father. Leave me alone. Damn it. I don't have time for this nonsense. Alice knew fate had reunited them, but Hugo wouldn't even look at her. He rushed out of the hospital without receiving aid and medical attention. Gosh darn it, Hugo. Just chill, dude. Take a break. Let, you, let your waifu help you. Let her help you, Hugo. Seriously, you need to rest. What nerve! How could he forget someone like me? Uh, it's very easy, Alice. Hugo is a very thick-headed person. Little did Alice know of the new danger Hugo was in. Nor did she know that the same danger now threatened her own family, Yuriko and Mitsuko. Well, you rabbits appear to handle stress very well. Who, who are you? Who are you and what are you talking about? That was weird that they cut to a black screen and didn't show anything. I think that was a, a uh, um, an error. <laughs> who I am isn't important, Miss Nonamura. The question is... Why didn't you go after Hugo? I sent him to your hospital for a reason. What on earth are you talking about? What, what do you want, anyway? You don't seem to be getting my point. Didn't you understand what I just said? What could I do? Oh. What could I do? He ran out before anyone could stop him. I mean, that's typical Hugo, right? Typical. You're hopeless. My job was just to reunite you two. But I guess I'll have to explain things to you before I leave. Of course, I'd be a fool to tell you without getting something in return. So let's see who's tougher. Ready? Put up your dukes. Wait a minute. Show me how you fought when you freed Yuriko from Tylon. Poor Alice. She just wants to mind her own business and do her own thing. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for Alice. A lot of these characters are just trying to mind their own business. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh. I like how hers is a, is a double hit. That's good. Interesting. Okay. All right. Ow. Oh, I'm figuring out some combos. I'm figuring out some moves. That's good. I'm going to need them. <laughs> nice. You win. Very cool. Do you know a kid named Kenji? He's a zoanthrope raised by Yugo. He was kidnapped by Buzazima of the Beast Liberation Front. Funny how they, they say ZLF, but then there's also BLF. It's kind of weird. Liberation Front? Aren't they zoanthrope terrorists? They claim to fight against discrimination by humans, but in reality, they exploit anyone, even their own kind. Does he think he can attack them all alone? 
reckless thing to do, with him being injured and all. Kenji will go through the same things Yuriko and I did, unless I save him. And off she goes. Yuriko? What are you doing in a place like this? Sister, um, it's mom. She... Oh, never mind. Yuriko, if you just... If you just told Alice what was going on, it would have saved a whole lot of problems. <laughs> just saying. What's the matter with you? Speak up. This isn't like you. No, really, it's nothing. Besides, I should be asking you what you're doing. You seem upset. Well, actually, Yuriko, I'm looking for someone named Yugo. You know him, right? D did you see him earlier? Oh, this is supposed to be Yuriko, but they kept Alice's picture up. Yeah, that wolf boy. He's involved in... Oh, he's involved in something highly dangerous. I have to find him before it's too late. Yeah, well, I haven't seen anyone around here. Oof. Where could he have rushed off to like that? Anyhow, I have to hurry, so I'll see you around, Yuriko. Let's chat some other time. Tell your mom I said hi. Okay, see you later. I'm sorry, sis. I wish I, I wish you could help, but I'll do what I can for mom. No. Hey, this is Liberation Front territory. What's a nurse doing here? The Liberation Front? Finally, Hugo's here then, right? Tell me where he is. Man, why do I always have to deal with such morons? You know what, Sheena? Maybe if you just toned it down a little bit. Maybe you, 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 you know, wouldn't, if you weren't so quick to rush into things, maybe you'd be fine. You know, I'm just saying. Maybe Gato wouldn't have to keep sitting there going, Sheena, what are you doing? <laughs> you need to stop. Stop stalling me and tell me, you dirty kidnapper. Watch your step. Lady, for your own good, you'd better back off right now. Oh, so you want to fight, huh? Well, I never lose a fight. Go on, take your best shot. <sighs> okay. Okay. Yep. All right. I see how it's going to go. I see. I see now. Here we go. See what her, her throw is. Oh, I see. Interesting. Jeez, okay. Nice, very cool. That was cool. How did I do that? Alice is kind of fun. I'm liking how she plays. I'll have to play as a rabbit form soon, though. Oh, she looks so mortified over what she just did. Oh, poor Alice. I feel so bad for Alice. She's just minding her own business and Hugo comes stomping in and now she's thrown into another thing he's dealing with. Damn, you sure don't fight like a nurse. But you've got me all wrong. I'm not with the Liberation Front. I came here looking for their stronghold. Really? <laughs> she's just like, oh. <laughs> What good would it do to what good would it do to lie to you now? If 
first of all, if I were one of them, they'd be swarming all over you. Like I said, this whole area is controlled by the Liberation Front. So, you were telling the truth? Oh, I'm so sorry. It's just that I... you see... Forget it, lady. It's my fault for underestimating you. But this time I won't hold back. No, I, I don't want to fight anymore. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. And off she goes. Hey, what are you doing in a place like this? Hey, you said what am I doing here? No, what are you doing here? Yeah, you tell him, Alice. <laughs> you chastise your boy. You should be in the hospital, mister. Not in a place like this. I came all this way to help you. I didn't ask for your help. Get out of here. Just go home. You go. Bro, compadre, it's too late for you. Just accept that the rabbit likes the wo I just realized B stars or Bay stars or however you want to call that manga and anime. The main character is a wolf and he gets with a rabbit, right? Bloody Roar has a main character who's a wolf, and his love interest is a rabbit. Coincidence? Possibly. Possibly a coincidence. It's too dangerous here. Why, you ungrateful little... Now I'm really mad. I'll have you know I'm the kind of person who finishes what she starts. Hmm. <clears throat> I'll, tra hmm. I'll drag you back to the hospital if I have to. H hey, c calm down. Let me go. Stop. You'd better stop before I get mad. You be quiet. You're injured, so act like it and do what I say. Their bickering is adorable. Their bickering is quite adorable, I have to say. I always appreciate when the... When, uh... You know what? This is kind of like Bulma and Vegeta, too, right? Vegeta goes off to do his own thing, and Bulma's just like, The hell are you doing? Get back here. Ouch! Oh, right in the spine! Ow! That looks like it hurt. And yoink! Alright, let's try rabbit form. Oh, okay. Huh. Ouch. Oh, okay. Oh, oops. <laughs> Whoa! It's stuck in the super move thing. That's interesting. Huh. Ow! Ow! Some nurse you are! You call that bedside manner? Well, excuse me. I come here to find you, and you have the nerve to say, go home? Hmm! <laughs> I don't want to be a nuisance. A nuisance? What do you mean? Kenji was kidnapped because I couldn't protect him. I don't want anything like that to happen to you because... Aww, he does like her. Aww, you go. Oh, you go. You were worried about me? Then why did you bolt out of the hospital like that? I knew you would grill me about what happened. And I didn't have time to explain things. This is my problem and mine alone. 
I'll rescue Kenji myself. N now wait just a minute. I'm going with you. Don't leave me. Oh, no. Why? Oh, no. No. Shenlong, what are you doing here so soon? We're only going to, what, like, fight four? So, are you pals with that nosy dog who was here earlier? What the heck are you talking about? Dog? You mean Hugo? You're an unwanted guest, and you shall pay for your insolence with your life. We're only gonna fight four, dude. Why are you here? <laughs> oh, hey. Go away and run away and never return. Oh, jeez. All right. All right. Oh. Ow. Ow. Oh, that damage. Eh, I gotta heal. No. Okay, okay. Okay. Ow! Oh! Oh, no! No, that looked painful! No, 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 oh! No! Oh, that's like a freaking Curled your body into a freaking ball and just spikes you? Oh, no! That looks like it hurt. That super made my gut clench. Oh! Oh, wow! That looked really painful! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, <laughs> I gotta take a second. Her super. Well, for a nurse, she knows how to kill someone. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. What? What? <laughs> oh, gosh. What? What have you done with Hugo? So you're the one who kidnapped Kenji. Kenji? I know no one by that name. If you mean that mutt who bit me, Buzazima's men are probably using him as a guinea pig in some experiment by now. Oh no! I have to hurry! And off she goes. We have to find Hugo quickly! Who's there? Can't do voices right now. Ugh. I like how she said we have to find him quickly, but she's not with anybody. A lot of errors. I'm noticing. Ouch. Ow, what? What? Okay, alright, alright. See what her throw is in rabbit form. Oh, alright. Got him. You win. Nice. Oh, thank goodness. It's just a little boy. What am I doing here? You, you go. Help. Wait a minute. You must be Kenji, right? Yes. Wrong! Sorry, Charlie. No prize for you. God. I hate Boozazima. 
They just keep coming. Now, who could that be? Ha! This brat doesn't even have a name. I, the brilliant Buzazima, amusing him in my experiment. So you're the one who kidnapped little Kenji. Oh my god, that's like so wrong. He has always belonged to me. That brat Hugo took him from me, so I just took him back. Belong? Oh no, I'm really mad. I'm going to take great pleasure beating up Buzazima in every story mode I'm in. <laughs> every story mode I'm in, I'm going to enjoy beating Buzazima up. All right, let's get him. Bonk. <laughs> All right. I noticed that a lot of the zoanthropes in, in this game have red eyes. I, I, I wonder if that's like a, a trait. I, I like just realized this. Can you like not be in animal form anymore, Boozy? Boozy? There we go. Hate that move. Oh my gosh. No. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, phew. <laughs> oh boy. I thought we were done for. You're in cahoots with the Tylon Corporation. You're despicable. I found Kenji, but I still have to save Yugo. Yugo is safe. Don't worry. You... You must be... Let me see. Gato, right? There's our boy. So we meet again, Mademoiselle Alice. I'm glad to see that you are well. But how weird. What you say somehow doesn't go with that attitude. <laughs> I don't know. But that's why I love Gatto. He's amazing. Gatto's great. I'm a little surprised that you made it here. Perhaps you are the kind of leader that the new generation needs. Huh? The future holds many dangers, such as this one for you and your compatriots. Nobody can guarantee your enemies are always easy. Um, excuse me, but I don't understand what you're saying. He wants you to join the team. <laughs> That's what he wants. Let me see if you're strong enough to take my place. Whoa! Wait, this is the final fight? Did we really do eight fights already? We did... Hang on, we did Jenny, we did Sheena, we did Yugo, Shenlong, Kenji, Buzazima. Wow, maybe some people just have shorter stories than other people. Huh, interesting. Ow. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That kicked in so much damage. Holy cow. 
holy cow, that kick did so much freaking damage. What the heck? He does so much damage. Why does he do so much damage? Oh, I think we're going to lose this fight, guys. I I don't know, but I, 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 I think we're going to lose. Unless I get lucky. Ah, oh, heal some health. There we go. Phew! Alright. Cool beans. Impressive. To think that a girl who once cowered before Tylon could compress this far. You can do it. You can rally your compatriots and create a new era. N now just hold on! Stop! What is it, mademoiselle? Is it true that Hugo is safe? Yes, I freed him myself. I found Kenji and defeated the bad guy, B Buzazima or whatever his name is. I guess my work is done. Well then, Gato, I'll be going home now. Just a moment, young lady. Because, really, a nurse like me should be... Healing people, not beating them up. I have to go. My patients are waiting for me. Though forsaken by fate and thrust into a cruel world, Alice had become an angel of mercy who defends the weak. I mean, that's the thing, though, right? You, you need both sides of that. Yeah, God was right. You need people who are strong enough to lead the zoanthropes to do stuff and whatever, but you also need people on the sidelines who are able to heal the wounded and tend to the sick and, you know, be a be that beacon of hope for people, right? So, hey, Alice just might be that person, honestly. In the turbulent future into which the world is changing, she, she will stand as a beacon of... Like I just said, she will stand as a beacon of hope. Exactly. Good for you, Alice. Stand by your ideals. Don't let Gatto tell you what to do. Gatto's cool, but you do need that other side. Aw, there they are, the lovely couple. Ouch! Stop! Besides, I don't need any bandages. You're hurt, so keep quiet and do what I say. Now let me see that cut over there. Come on, give me a break. All right, well, that was all of Alice's story mode for Bloody Roar 2. Um, thank you all so much for joining me today. It was really fun actually playing as Alice. Um, we only got three characters left. And usually I try not to think of who I'm going to play as next, but I think we're going... I, I really want to play as Sheena... So I think next time we're going to play as Sheena. I, since there's only so many characters, I'm going to save Buzazima for last because I just, I don't want to, I don't, I'm, I want to enjoy beating him up as much as I can first. But yeah, it's Yugo and Sheena. So we'll, we'll probably do Sheena, then Yugo, and then um, Buzazima. That's probably what we're going to do. But hey, think, uh, you all take care of yourselves today. Keep rocking on. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.